Hey there, how's it going? What is up everybody? Irish Orantan is back to pass along the updates and info to make the most of your Madden team. Enjoy! So we are back. Uh, we had to split up the video. Wanted to talk about offense, defense, a little bit of special teams, but we got on talking a little bit too long there in that first video about the offense. Very excited about what we do have put together over there. Very excited about the defense as well. Hopefully it'll be about the same amount of time for special teams and defense as we took on the offense. So let's get started. Here we have Sean Taylor. Absolutely adore that we can have him on our defensive backfield do just love safeties this year um, really every year they bring you the best value for what they can bring on the field especially as them and cornerbacks are absolutely topped out at speed go out and get players that are 97 98 speed that can run and hit and do absolutely thing everything at every position it's very very hard to figure out what to do on offense so that is what I try to do every year just bring out players that can move and height is something that is very beneficial at this point as you can see with this Tillman he has those 99s across the board so even that balance D doesn't necessarily help him out all that much um, he does have that hit power along with those other attributes honestly the thing that I love him best for at this point in the year is actually special teams he is one of those players that is 99 gold in position I do have him playing at uh, free safety at this time he can play that position as a secondary position but his attributes aren't going to look nearly as good look at Ed Reed um, and then my two defensive tackles to kind of get a little bit of a note on that um, to understand that a little bit better at how that dips um, Ed Reed is, we can go right down there, he's another player that can play corner, free safety, or strong safety as well. Um, at cornerback, he's not going to get those out-of-position um, benefits that only players that, like Minka excuse me, can get that can really help you out and give you a few extra stat boosts for that there. But this Ed Reed is absolutely perfect at what he does his man coverage could be a little bit better so perfect is hard to say but 99 speed for a safety with 99 acceleration is absolutely amazing he's actually helped out this weekend league had two interceptions only played 13 games um, won 10 of those just wanted to get the hundred thousand uh, coin boost and just play through pretty casually thought I was gonna play closer to 20 and just quit out of a lot more games but thankfully was able to play pretty well with this team um, so again one of the reasons that I do come and point them out um, never gonna say that I am the best player at this game but I can build a team pretty well so do try to help you out with that as well Ken Houston being six foot three Washington player he is going to be at this position the rest of the year I'm summing him in at linebacker a lot and nickel and dime he is doing a tremendous job there I think he is sub linebacker one at this point um, putting uh, those ad extra attributes on him could help out um, making him one of my three players that could get those abilities but really like what he does come with stock uh, same thing with Sean Taylor have had the abilities on him at one point in time when he was one of the best players on my team um, not 99 overall as you can see for Sean but really does absolutely everything well for me there Troy Palomalu, uh, excuse me Troy Palomalu, another strong safety that I absolutely adore 98 speed he was a little bit short on one pass deep down the middle played Taylor Mays there the rest of the game and he actually made two plays later on so there's something to be said with that height and ability there obviously not going to be able to be kind of um, able to run and do everything on his own nearly as well um, doesn't have the play rec and some of those other things but Taylor Mays just with that speed and again height just allows him to do that and if you're just going to play with him he's another great player because he can get up to that 99 hit power very very easily um, Jamal Adams and Derwin James two strong safeties I have had in my scheme 
Um, Jamal Adams was my number one safety for quite some time, but um, he's now 93 speed stock, so that is starting to get a little bit slow, but really player that I should be able to fit somewhere, but just am not at this point because I have enough talent at other positions. Um, Derwin James and able to get him free through the gauntlet, so that was a huge boost as well, but again... He has 94 speed, but there are just other players that I really want to play. I should really figure out how to get him on the field some way or another with that 97 speed. Um, if he would be playing um, with that 90 man and 91 zone, that is a huge, huge boost um, to be able to play pretty much anything that you do need. We'll just stick in the defensive backfields. I know Washington does have some of the best cornerbacks. I think we go five deep um, at 99 overall, and that Kendall Fuller gets pretty close to that as well. Um, but there are cornerbacks like Knight Trey Lane who are in the game right now. Uh, Byron Jones is another one of those free agency players. He's pretty much 99 across the board in coverage stats. But something that I'm sure you're all aware of, um, Night Train Lane can come in and get some of those, excuse me, extra boosts, um, tackling, jumping as well. Absolutely phenomenal there. He's really good after he gets the ball in his hands. Um, not perfect at rushing the passer, but much, much better than most cornerbacks. And as you can see, Byron Jones is not bad at playing in um, the run game and Nitrate Lane is just that much better. Um, hopefully I didn't pass hit power, but I'm sure that I did a while ago. But absolutely I love the way that he does play. Excuse me, did not. 98 hit power, 97 press. So yeah, at cornerback position, that is something that I may rethink and not have him with those um, specialty abilities. Um, something that has came into the game with these 99 gold players um, they do give, excuse me, should hit X there, not A again one more time. Um, but with those gold players, you do have the ability to put four abilities on them. And then, um, excuse me, that one X factor as well. So I have Enforcer, Lurker, Universal Coverage, and then Acrobat as well. And I train Lane is absolutely my best cornerback and probably player on the field consistently. It is a little bit of a bother that I'm not able to have both my sub linebackers with Lurker and um, Enforcer, but it is just something that I'm kind of working with at this point in time. Champ Bailey, someone that you've probably actually seen, but um, with that 99 speed, very, very good across the board, but just not quite maxed out like Night Train Lane or Byron Jones. Um, Ed Reed again fitting in there. And then Deion Sanders, pretty much 99s across the board. Coverage as well, but even weaker in the run game. Quinn Dunbar, sadly not uh, Redskin anymore. He is a tremendous player. Um, loved uh, watching him um, come up kind of from playing wide receiver and kind of switching positions. So that was very, very exciting. But it is very disappointing that he is no longer there right after he got a team builder for us. So even more disappointing, the Mel Renfro uh, that got free, did have two of them, sold the one for 500 coins. So working with him, he is actually very good in the run game as well. And if I wasn't able to upgrade with some of these other players, would be playing with him a little bit more. Uh, that Kendall Fuller, do need to get that upgrade. We'll get that in there before um, we do talk about uh, more of the Washington players in depth. We do have Tracy Porter as well. Just a little bit short, but does have very good coverage stats and speed also. But yeah, just absolutely love the defense backs. I did, guess we didn't talk about Minka, uh, but he fits in, I guess. I think I accidentally subbed. Someone where I wasn't supposed to, but actually that's not even that bad of a call, to be perfectly fair. Uh, Minka Fitzpatrick is someone that I've been playing. Um, Ed Reed just kind of took that spot and then moved up a spot. Um, Minka was my fourth cornerback, I think, before I got Ed Reed this past weekend. But uh, Minka is tremendous as well, and he's someone that kind of plays that night train lane role, just being very athletic, but also being able to play in the run game very well. Also has tremendous man coverage for a safety, so just keep that in mind 
when you are working with some of these players. Anybody else I want to point out? Taylor Mays is tremendous. Uh, Layden Collins doesn't quite have the attributes that you really want, especially in coverage, but is a tremendous in-the-box player. Coming in at the linebacker position, we do have Jadavion Clowney, something that you might notice kind of looking at the defensive lineman as well. Um, play with a lot of speed, um, playing with defensive ends. Cloudy would pretty much be a defensive end in most situations. Most of my outside linebackers are. Do play a lot more 3-4, and that just fits really well with the nickel as well. But Cloudy is another one of those players that is very helpful because you are able to get your team chem on him when you get that free agency player. And also, he is just tremendous. Um, and he gets up to that 99 gold, so you can get those four abilities on him. That helps out immensely. 99 block shed, 96 speed, 98 power move. Just someone that really, really will help out your team until Lawrence Taylor comes out. But again, you can play him at the opposite outside linebacker or defensive end and be able to come after absolutely any um, offensive line that you want. Um, I play 3-3-5 odd frequently and then have Clowney come off the edge as that odd uh, outside linebacker and he is tremendous at that um, have had Lawrence Taylor in that position most of the year he is phenomenal at that as well so if you can't quite afford Clowney Lawrence Taylor is someone that you could definitely have and I'm sure his next upgrade is coming very soon um, when you play them in that 3-3-5 odd it's almost like bringing a defensive back off the edge and now that he is 96 speed he can just run past and beat up on those halfbacks um, that do try to stop him and catch up to almost every quarterback except for those uh, Randall Cunningham's and Lamar Jackson's behind the line of scrimmage so just keep that in mind and something that I don't always talk about, but do want to kind of bring it up because I am talking about special teams. Uh, Montez Sweat is another one of those players that is absolutely perfect for special team situations. He's always in there making tackles, 96 tackle, 94 speed. He's going to progress a little bit more, hopefully keep his athleticism after he's in the NFL for a few years, and that finesse and power move will be even higher, but at this point probably isn't a player that you want to be starting unless you're really, really maxing out that uh, Washington Redskins passing D cam, which I do to some extent, but not as much as I did since I did focus a little bit of that on offense now. Hopefully the batteries last through the end of this. I think we can make it. We'll look at the other outside linebackers since that is something that is a little bit more comparable to the other players that we were looking at. They are players that get after the quarterback. Khalil Mack, a player that um, kind of something maybe I shouldn't be doing, but he's often playing the opposite end of Jadavion Clowney, and I put that player in QB spy frequently. So he probably could be best used at getting after the quarterback. But since he did play and does play outside linebacker at this point in time, he was a defensive end to start his career. So doesn't necessarily have the best ball skills. So, uh, Julius Peppers and even Daniel Hunter, he's someone who is tremendous and a little bit less expensive that you can get to fit that role much better for you before Cloudy got a little bit um, better and was more my focus coming off the edge. He was that player that kind of was um, in that role, especially earlier on in the year when he had just gotten that last card. And then Lawrence Taylor, I'm sure you've seen multiple, multiple times, but just playing him out of position there uh, to fit Sweat in, in position to get that bolstered up theme team chem. Looking at middle linebackers, I'm just very focused here with these particular players. Do you want them to stop in the run game and then want one of them to be able to play very well in the pass game? Ray Lewis is not necessarily the best in the pass game, but you couldn't really ask for anything better in the run game. Really, if you can fit in um, safeties in almost every single one of these positions, you can bring more speed to the field. And with Taylor Mays, you even have the size that's almost comparable. And with Tillman, he has that 99 across the board in some of those areas that 
could be very beneficial. Not a lot of safeties do have that 94 strength, though. Um, if you are playing nickel 2-4, uh, he is someone that you can play in the middle, and he can play very, very well. Then you can play a Shazier, a safety then, and behind him, and Ray Lewis can almost play as a defensive lineman. Not sure if I was saying that a lot this year, earlier this year, but I know I was saying that a lot last year when Ray Lewis was my captain. But uh, Shazier is my captain this year. Do you like that speed? But again, you can get a little bit better speed on the field with some of those defensive backs. Patrick Willis, adore what he brings. Um, very similar to Ray Lewis. If Willis gets another upgrade this year, probably we'll be playing with him primarily, but playing with Ray now because he is a slightly better uh, player at this time. On the defensive line, something else you noticed uh, with that speed, no real defensive tackles, at least at starter. Deron Payne, hopefully he progresses um, even more than what he has shown throughout this year, so um, he can continue to get better cards, but I really love to play with faster players, and defensive tackles really aren't that, and the best ones are very, very expensive and aren't as good, in my mind, as an Aaron Donald for you. His um, st run stuff inside zone is something that if you're having issues with that, he can set that right very, very quickly. So just keep that in mind. Him or a Warren Sapp type are very, very good at that. Warren Sapp is one defensive tackle that I may think about, but really just love the way that Aaron Donald plays. Deacon Jones um, did get some pretty good upgrades this year. Did get that 99 block shed. Not scared to play this player, but um, he is on the slow end for the other defensive ends that I do have. As you can see with the Julius Peppers, has 89 stock. Bruce Smith, a little, a little bit on the slow end as well, but does get up to that 86 uh, speed with the chems that I do have on him. And then Howie Long coming in with that already stock 85 speed. Gets up to 88 very, very easily. Fits in very well in that 3-4 with Aaron Donald, Howie Long, and Bruce Smith. Deacon Jones can fill any of those slots very easily. And then Daniel Hunter and Julius Peppers slide along the line, more or less playing QB Spy. And if they're playing uh, pass exclusively, which doesn't happen all that frequently, um, we'll be playing those players a lot more often. For the punters and kickers, have not found a player that I would want more than these two do have um, my superstar ability on Zane Gonzalez. Looking on the defensive side, did talk about Night Train Lane. Clowney can get those four abilities and be very helpful. And then that Ray Lewis moving into that sub linebacker. Still want him to be able to lurk a little bit and get some of those picks for you underneath. Um, best kickoff returner in the game for the rest of the year. And I don't think that's going to change even a little bit. Barry Sanders was tremendous at it at Oklahoma State, is tremendous at it now in the game. Human joystick just makes him absolutely dangerous. And this is where I'm fitting in Minka Fitzpatrick and Taylor Mays. And if you want to look at the specialist, um, that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, again, Barry Sanders pretty much getting him in all of the time. Um, no talking defense right now, but... With Eric Dickerson's X-Factor, you do want another running back potentially starting and then bringing him in in certain situations or maybe not necessarily to start the game because it can catch your player or your opponent off guard. Excuse me. Uh, but that is what we have. Hopefully you do have a team that is growing as well. Hope you all are staying safe and playing a little bit more. Um, during this time, uh, we'll be bringing out some more videos, but I wish you all the very best and take care. Thanks for checking out the Irish Rantane channel. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get all the Madden updates and info you need to put together a team better than your friends and win more head-to-head -head games online. Until next time, much love.